so I would I originally was going the DO dot the DO route, right? Mm -hmm, the osteopathic mm -hmm. route. Um when I went to Drexel, uh where I went to college, I was, you know, doing the whole pre-med route. And um then it, it didn't it took until about maybe senior year, like my last year in college, before I realized that that's not really the route I was feeling anymore because I picked the DO route because when I was looking between the difference between them and the MDs, mm -hmm. they had a more of a whole body approach where they gotcha. just don't push pills on you. They right. do like, you know, they look at gotcha. the, the whole individual, you as a person, right? But they still had that authority where they could, you know, prescribe medications, which I really didn't care for. So I just wasn't really feeling that path anymore. So, um, so, you know, uh, going, going along that thought process, then, you know, at the time when I was doing martial arts, you know, <laughs> I did martial arts too. And, like and, um, so he could whoop y'all ass. <laughs> <laughs> what belt? What belt you got? You know, I, oh, I got. I went all the way to black. You know, I, oh. so, so he gonna you fuck y'all niggas Ryan? up. Yeah, Ryan. You what's up, Ryan? What's up, Ryan? Ryan, 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 Ryan do jujitsu. <laughs> jujitsu. <laughs> he be getting his ass whooped. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but he have a black that. belt. In. Uh, I did karate. Karate. Oh. But I did a little bit of everything. High karate too. Kickboxing, taekwondo, all of that. Damn, and you did Taekwondo too? Taekwondo! Yeah. Stop that. fucking playing with Dr. Victory. Stop playing with Dr. Victory. Look, and... <laughs> 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 Dr. Victory was a good guy. Is he good? She good. <laughs> he good. <laughs> Chris good. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so... Oh, you're uh, a real being mean to the no, dog. Prince with yeah, my ass. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> See, he heard fighting and wanted to exactly. jump in the ring. Exactly, he coming to... He wanted a piece Taekwondo. He wanted a piece of me. Look how you looking yeah. at Ryan. Should I get her? But um, but yeah, so you know, I had a classmate who was telling me who I was talking to about that situation. And um, you know, he said he suggested, Hey, have you thought about chiropractic? That sounds mm. more like your your lane of philosophy on how you want to practice medicine. And um, I didn't really have it in mind at the time because you know, they never really talked about chiropractors in school from high school to, you know, the health careers, mm -hmm. counseling and mm -hmm. all that stuff. They talked about nursing, pharmacy, mm -hmm. uh, all those, uh, pretty much every, every <coughs> healthcare profession you can think of, but chiropractic was never really mentioned. So I thought that was interesting. I knew of them, but I didn't really know them in detail. Right. So, but he was like in his fifties and, you know, he looked like he was 35 and wow. he could have great shape. And he credited his chiropractor as to uh, a big role that played in helping him remain healthy. So um, he had a chiropractor that I shadowed and, um, you know, he was kind of one of he was like old school, you know, in a sense. And, and I can talk more about the difference between when I say old school and, and, and compare it with what I do. But the old school guys pretty much just like adjust you. Right. Right. That cracking maneuver, which. They also called a manipulation. That's pretty much all he did. But, you know, it still was interesting to see how much better, like, his patients got up off the table mm -hmm. off just that one maneuver and, you know, not having prescribed drugs or anything. And that was, like, my style of healthcare because, you know, I always think, like, okay, when you see a healthcare practitioner because you're sick, something's wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Right you want to leave feeling better than you came in right. and not just get a script to say, Hey, try right. this drug out and let me know if it doesn't work, you know? So, um, so that was real appealing to me. So, um, and then when I, the other sign, that was the first sign, right? Then the second sign, uh, was my mom, you know, she was doing a whole bunch of research trying to figure out like, well, what are the lane of healthcare could I do? And I came back one day like, hey, you know, you should think about chiropractic. So I was like, all right, you know, I know I know a sign when I see one. Yeah, so, I know that's right. Yeah. She so. was like, it don't matter. You're going to do something. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. You didn't go to college all these years <laughs> to tell me you're not doing <clears throat> the doctor thing no more. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. um, So, yeah, after Philly, I flew out to Chicago where I you know, did my uh, chiropractic training, you know, at the medical school out there, National University. 
And um, that was another four years. And what I liked about that process was, you know, and when you go to like a traditional medical school mm -hmm. after the four years of schooling, you have to complete at least three years of residency, right? Mm, and, okay. the, and, and after the residency, you know, then you can complete like a fellowship mm -hmm. if you want to specialize even further, right? So if I went the DO route, they didn't even have like a residency in sports medicine. The strategy that they were telling me was, oh, just do your residency in family medicine, which would take like two years. Then you can do a fellowship in sports medicine. So I'm looking at it like, OK, after college, I got another seven years of pain oh before God. I get to oh do what I actually <laughs> want to do and treat people how I want to treat them. But with the chiropractic route, you can essentially specialize like while you're in school. Mm. Right. So all the certifications I did that would make me like a sports medicine specialist mm -hmm. in the field of chiropractic, I could do while I was in school. Right. It was just like, OK, I would pick because they would introduce you to certain things outside of the adjustment. But it was on you to go and pursue that outside of school. OK. Mm. Right. So. um, So I did that. You know, I just picked the week long or weekend long like scenarios where I knew I had the time to, you know, take those classes and and, and get those certifications. And by the time I got a, I graduated, I was pretty much ready to go.